Hello viewers, welcome to another brand new video in our channel Amazing Warrior. This is another video of series of icon making tutorial and in this video I will show you how to make danger icon in Microsoft PowerPoint. This is going to be intermediate level tutorial. This is not much hard or not much easy. So without any further talking, let's go to the computer screen and see how to do that. Okay, first go to insert tab and from shape option, choose a rectangle and draw a rectangle here like this one now put it over there and again go to insert option from shape choose circle and pressing shift draw an exactly rounded circle put it over there and press ctrl t for duplicate and keep it here like this now select this one and make it a bit smaller like this now select all of this object three object pressing shift and go to format option from shape fill make them red from shape outline make them no outline now again select this circle and press ctrl t for duplicate put it over there and from shape fill go to more colors and make it a bit circle like this one and put it over there and now pressing ctrl and shift make it a bit smaller like this and now select this one press ctrl t for duplicate it and put it over there like this and now go to insert tab from shape option choose this one and draw a triangle like this and put it over there make it a bit larger like this one and now select this one go to format option format painter and select this one now select this one again go to format from shape fill go to more colors custom and make it more darker like this one okay hope you get this now again go to insert tab from shape option choose this one trophy joint hello sorry for interrupt for watching more of our videos check the link i have written here draw a shape like this you see there is a yellow dot squeeze it like it and now press it and press ctrl t to duplicate and make it rectangle like this and now select both of these this one and this one go to format option from shape fill make them dark gray and select both of these again and from shape outline make them no outline and now go to insert tab and choose a shape name freeform and draw a shape exactly like this one click here click here click click on here and make it like this one and from shape fill make it white and you can give a gradient color here and before this i am giving the shape outline to no outline and shape fill select gradient you can choose this one or if you want to edit this then just again go to shape fill and from gradient option go to more gradients and from here you can edit this like i am removing this one okay now select both of these all of these three objects like this one this one and this one and press ctrl g for grouping and pressing ctrl and shift to make them smaller and put it over there it's the teeth of skeleton and squeeze it like this put it over there and now press ctrl d for duplicating put it over here press again ctrl d several times okay now select all of these pressing shift you can do this easily now press ctrl d for duplicate and put it over here pressing ctrl and shift rotate it like this and put it over there now select this one and this one and keep them here if you get this and our shape is almost done the last one part is remaining that is go to insert tab from shape option choose a rectangle and draw a rectangle like this put it over here now go to insert tab again and choose circle draw a circle here like this and press ctrl t for duplicate put it over here now select both of these pressing shift and press ctrl t and put it over there now select all of these five object pressing shift and press ctrl g for grouping from format option shape fill make them light gray like this one and from shape outline no outline and now put it over there pressing shift rotate it like this one Okay, make them a bit larger by pressing ctrl and shift 
pressing Ctrl and Shift to make it a bit smaller like this and right click on it and send it to back. Put it like this one. Now press Ctrl T for duplicating, pressing Shift, rotate it like this. Right click on it, send it to back. So our skeleton icon is ready. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and hope you understand all this video and if you don't understand any part of this video then please leave a comment what you don't understand. Feel free to leave a comment whatever it is. It might be a positive or negative or it might be a suggestion or if you don't understand obviously you would say us. So see you again in the next video and make sure you have subscribed our channel Amazing Warrior.